Hey guys, Jamie with the Summer Rain channel. Welcome back. Today we're gonna go ahead and make ice cream scoop candles. So I actually got the inspiration from this. I was watching TV and it was some like, is it cake or food show? I know that's not the name of it, but they were like cake designers that were making things and then the judges had to guess which one was the fake. And I got the inspiration for my ice cream scoop candles. Um, not that mine look like real food. It just like sparked something in my brain and I got up right away and started making these candles. I put the full recipe down in the description box below. Also on the videos I've been putting the recipe. Let me know if you like that. And I put a link to my blog. So oftentimes on my blog, I'm gonna go a lot more in depth than I do in the video. So if you want a little bit more information or if you want the printable recipe, just zip over to my blog and that's in the description box down below. And I wanted your thoughts. So which one do you like better? The one that I made for the video or the one that I made for my blog post? I think I like the video one better because I feel like it fits snugger and it, snugger, is that a word? It fits more snug in the jar. I just like the way that it looks a little bit better. Um, let me know your thoughts on that. Without further ado, let's dive in and learn how to make these candles. So we're gonna go ahead and start by doing the ice cream scoop part first. Go ahead and grab your pouring pot. <laughs> and as you can see, I got a new pouring pot. So the other one that I had was so tall when I was trying to do these videos, it was very difficult. So I went ahead and got a smaller one. Um, I figure if I'm gonna do a lot of candle videos, I should invest in a smaller one so you guys can get a better <laughs> video. Um, so to our pouring pot, we wanna go ahead and put in our wax for the ice cream scoop part. And then at the same time, we're gonna add just a bit of coloring. Now, I don't want this to be super vibrant, so I'm just adding a wee little bit of coloring to this. I'm gonna pop this on a double boiler until it's completely melted and then I'll come back. Now that our wax is completely melted, we're gonna go ahead and add our fragrance oil. And we're gonna give that a really good mix. Um, so we're gonna have to allow this to cool. Um, it would be completely fine if you did it in the pouring pot. I'm gonna go ahead and pop it into a different container. I just find it's a little bit easier for me to mix it in this container than it is in the pouring pot. And then also when I'm gonna scoop the wax ice cream scoop, this is an easier container to work with. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop that in there. Now, this is where you're gonna need a little bit of patience. So I'm gonna let this sit here for a little bit just till I get a little bit of cooled down wax on the top and then I'll come back and I'll show you through the process as I'm stirring it because you're not gonna to wanna to let it harden all the way on you and you have to keep coming back and mixing it but it's not something like you have to sit there the entire time and mix it. So I'm gonna let this cool for a little bit and then I'll be back. Like harden just a bit so there's a little bit of a film on the top, but let me poke through so you can see, it's not all the way cooled down. And what we're gonna do is we are just gonna go ahead and give this a good mix. Um, I let this sit here for, geez, probably like 15, 17 minutes, just to kind of give you an idea of how long. And when I'm mixing this, I'm really focusing on the sides of the container. So as you can see, it's trying to like really harden right there. So you wanna scoop all of the stuff off the sides of your container, off the bottom of your container, and then just give it a good stir. Now the reason why we do this is we don't want it to harden up into a candle in our mixing bowl, and we need to keep it kind of pliable so we can get it to a thicker consistency. Um, when you're using the ice cream scoop, you need it to be thick enough to like hold its shape but pliable enough to be able to scoop it. So it's a little bit of just playing with consistencies here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give this another 10, 15 minutes just to sit here and then I'll come back and I will show you the consistency again. It's been about maybe another 10 minutes so I figured I would go ahead and stir the wax again and we're not quite at our consistency, so we'll wait another 10 minutes, maybe 20 minutes, and then come back and mix it. So it's been like another 10, 15 minutes, and I just mixed this up, 
it's starting to thicken up. Um, it's still a little bit soft for what we're going for. So when you're doing it, kind of see if details stay in your wax. So I guess you're looking for a sort of trace. So I wanna make sure that when we scoop this into an ice cream, it's actually gonna hold its shape. Um, and I think we're getting very close, but we need just a little bit longer before we can actually scoop this and get it to stay. So I will be back again um, in a little bit to check the consistency. So I went and grabbed just a wee little bit of wax paper and this is starting to harden up. And let me show you the consistency here. So it's pretty solid. It's a little bit soft to the touch, but it's good enough. Like it's hard to mix and it's gonna hold our shape when we scoop it with the ice cream scoop. You wanna make sure it's one of the ones with the bars. And then we're just gonna fill this up with our candle wax. And I kind of push against the side just to pack it in there a bit and then squeeze to release. There is our ice cream scoop. So next what we wanna do is we need to come in with a wick pen and just press down in the very center of your scoop. Now the wax that I have doesn't like to harden after I've mixed it a bunch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pop this in the freezer for a little bit. So when you're getting ready to make your candle, um, I wanna show you how you kind of determine how much wax you're gonna need for your container because really everyone's container is probably gonna be a different size. Um, I'm re reusing an old one that had a candle in it and I just cleaned it out and then I'm using that for this candle. So when you're doing it, you want the wax to come probably to about here and then we're gonna put the ice cream scoop on top. So the easiest way to figure out how much wax you're gonna need, go ahead, turn your scale on, put a container on there and push the tear button. This will put you at zeros. And then I'm just gonna get some wax in here. And we wanna fill the container with wax to about where we want it to be. And we wanna do this two times. So your second time, and I'm at 7.3 ounces. So for this candle, I wanna use 7.3 ounces of wax, and then we will put the ice cream scoop on top. I hope that makes it a little bit easier figuring out how much wax you need for this. So now we're gonna go ahead and put the wick into our candle. Um, after you're done checking how much wax you're gonna need, make sure you wash your candle out. So I went ahead and washed this out again just because you don't want it to be, sometimes it gets some wax flakes on there or a little bit of like wax residue even from just measuring it. So just give it a quick wipe out before you put the wick in. To attach the wick, what you're gonna do is on the bottom of the tab, just put a little bit of hot glue and then carefully put it in the very center of your candle. And this candle is kind of deep, so it's hard to get my hands in there. And then I just give it a good push down, and now our jar is prepped and ready to have the candle poured into it. I went ahead and put our 7.3 ounces of soy wax into our melting pot. And to that, I'm gonna add just a wee little bit of the color again. I don't want these to be super vibrant, so I add just a dollop of the color. If you want yours more vibrant, feel free to add more. I'm gonna pop this on a double boiler until it's completely melted. So now that our wax is completely melted, we can go ahead and pop our fragrance oil in. And we're gonna give this a really good mix. Now, I like to mix my fragrance oil for at least a minute when I'm putting it in, that just kind of allows the fragrance oil and the soy wax to bind completely. So we'll give this a really good mix. And we'll go ahead and pour the wax in there. Now when you're pouring it, be mindful of where you want to stop for your ice cream scoop. So we should have pretty much just enough wax, but just kind of watch
and I'm gonna stop right there so it's filled about three quarters of the way and I'm just gonna take a sharpie ah. and I'm gonna use that to center my wick now I'm gonna allow this to cool completely and I will be back once it's cooled now that our candle is done and our ice cream scoop is done um, we can go ahead and assemble it so what I like to do first I'm just gonna move this out of the way I'm gonna hit the top of this candle with a heat gun just so we can melt it a little bit to get the ice cream part to stick And then the good thing about this being frozen is you don't have to worry about like your hands denting it or anything like that. So we can just go ahead and slide the wick in. And then just kind of press it down onto your candle. And then the last thing that we do is go ahead and trim the wick to a quarter of an inch. And there is your finished ice cream scoop candle. And there is our finished ice cream scoop candle i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you enjoy making your own and if you haven't done so already be sure to hit that subscribe button down below bye